Hey, what's up guys? So, you're someone who travels a lot. You're constantly on the go. However, you need a form of internet connection, a reliable but portable way to connect to the internet. With us here is a mobile device from Sierra Wireless. It's a portable hotspot router and all that's needed is your SIM card and an active data plan. So essentially what this device does is to take the service from that SIM card and transmit it via Wi-Fi. So now your devices such as your laptops, your smartphones, your tablets can connect through this device. Now starting out with your micro USB port. This port is used for recharging the battery or for connecting the device to a laptop or PC. And as you can see, the device is relatively small. It's very small, small enough to fit in your pocket, in your handbag, or you can have it tucked away in your vehicle while you travel around. Now on the back of the device, we'll see Sierra Wireless engraved, and you wanna slide this portion downwards to expose the battery. Now below this battery is the slot for a SIM card, and it fits a standard size SIM. Now while we're on SIM card, to add this unit is fully unlocked. This version is unlocked and will support any SIM card from any network carrier. For the device itself, it's compatible with HSPA and HSPA Plus service and also compatible with LTE. All right, so with the cover off, you'll see that there are some other areas, one being this reset button and when pressed, it returns the device back to its factory state. The other area is our micro SD card slot. And on the opposite ends, you see two ports labeled one and two. And these are ports for an external antenna. So you, if you're in an area where you have low coverage, you can add an antenna to this device to boost service. As it relates to Wi-Fi, this device is BGN, so it's incompatible, and the range is also very good. So you can be in one area, in one room, and persons in another room can connect. Now with all that said, let's connect our wireless device to this router and see how well it performs. Firstly, we need a SIM card with an active plan, and then we reinsert our battery. There's our memory card or SD card. It's not required at this time, but I'll insert it nonetheless so you guys can see. By the way, our battery is 1800 milliamp hour. So from this, we can get five to seven hours of usage. at the top we have our power button and as we turn this unit on we will see a number of icons being displayed the top left displays our signal strength and whether we are receiving edge 3G or 4G service. On the right, there's an indicator to tell us when we need to recharge and also how many Wi-Fi devices are connected to this device. The carrier is then displayed below these icons and as mentioned earlier, this unit is fully unlocked. Now in the middle of the display is the SSID, so this is what our wireless devices will see. And below this is our Wi-Fi key. And this is a password we'll use to connect to this device. Finally, at the very bottom of the display is the information on the amount of data used. So this can give us an idea of when we need to reactivate a new plan. Now at this time, there are no wireless devices connected. And if you look closely beside the Wi-Fi icon, you will see displayed zero. Moving over to our laptop, we will search for the SSID for this device and connect with the Wi-Fi key given. When we are successfully connected, 
the icon next to the Wi-Fi indicator will display one. So now we have a device connected and you can get an idea of how many persons are connected to this device and using its services. So what we'll do now is to head to speedtest.net and see how well this device performs. All right, so speedtest.net. And as you can see, we're connected to our local carrier network. And let's begin. So our ping is 39 milliseconds and our download speed is 13, 12, 13, no 12, almost 13 megs down. So there you have it, 39 milliseconds and 12.89 megs down. So this is very reliable for this small device. Thanks for watching everyone. Please leave your comment, let us get your feedback and let us know what you think about this video and of this device. Also please remember to subscribe and share.